Uh, I'm Martin Van Dyke. I head up uh, global product design uh, and early production here at Idea Planet. Um, working on the Expanse and making a Rossi ship for you guys. And uh, we're going to kind of give you a little bit of just a little peek and a little bit behind the scenes and show you what we're working on. And one of the things I'm working on this morning is, as you can tell here in this picture, we've got the landing gear attached, which is season four, uh, which is a really great addition to the Rossi, I feel, and uh, can really help uh, bring the story farther, as you see in the teaser trailer where they're landing on planets now. Uh, one of the things I'm exploring with engineers right now uh, is uh, uh, bringing them out. So they're actually retracted and trying to extend them as well for your displayed statue. And here's a slight animation that we're working with on it. Let me pull that a little bit bigger and you'll see the operation of it uh, that we're trying to put into place. One of the other great additions that we're bringing to this is uh, a light for the engine exhaust. Uh, it's such a great image. That blue is a great thing to capture and everything. And we've, uh, we've done it before and explored it with other ships that we've done in the past for Homeworld and that. Uh, it's a nice blue and everything, but that's an interior light. And uh, we got a little bit of blue on the back. The one way uh, I'm looking to upgrade this uh, for you guys is to create more of an effect uh, similar to this. Um, so what we've got here is a cone very much like the back of the engine. And uh, we'll cover it up uh, with the center part and we'll put some LEDs behind it with a flickering effect. And uh, so yeah, we'll create a nice flickering effect. Uh, right now I'm trying to put in position an off, a on where it's a consistent blue, and then a third position of a flickering blue. And I really feel that can, that'll put this ship above and beyond. One of the features that we feel are really cool that we're bringing to the table on this for you guys as well is the turrets. Um, who doesn't love gun turrets firing off every direction, everything like that? I mean, it is pretty cool. But at the same time, you may not, we want to give you the option on your end to display it with the turrets fully extended or with the turrets recessed. And when I say recess, it's, it's incredible to watch him come out of the ship, but at the same time, it's incredibly difficult to make that happen on a statue. The way we've looked at it is to give you guys the option of displaying it. Uh, turrets, uh, turret doors closed and with magnetic turrets able to place on top of it. Uh, this way you can have two options. Um, and I feel like that's a really great way to do it. Uh, otherwise, we're, we're using magnets because it's non-invasive to the actual statue. There will be no male, female insertion points or seams and stuff like that. It, it's, it's a clean and it's good. And uh, I hope you guys like it. Speaking of turrets, uh, doing a lot of 3D work here in-house as well, uh, as you can see. Uh, building from the screen used Rossi files, turning them into physical pieces. And uh, here's the building of the turrets. That's, that's about it for right now uh, and where we're at. Uh, looking forward to working with you guys and moving forward in development on this. And we will keep you posted. Thanks.